Hey guys, welcome back to Snook View Farm Almost Live. Um, I'm sorry I didn't make a video last week, but or for the last two weeks, sorry, but um I just couldn't think of anything to talk about. So now we're coming at you or not really live, but on April twenty <clears throat> seventh at Monday, April twenty seventh, uh twelve thirty six. And I'm pretty stoked for this one because it's all about what I'm what I love doing cowboying and just the cattle industry in general. So let's get after it. All right, the first order of business here is the is if the is the cattle market high or low at this point? Well, believe it or not, it is low or it's it's about medium because low is one dollar or one dollar a pound and up and high is about dollar fifty or medium is about dollar fifty to a dollar seventy five a pound and dollar seventy five a pound and up through the two is high or it's about the right it's about the right um, price the the cows we sell right now are between six and seven hundred pound and at this point just let me check here give me a give me a minute um yeah six to seven hundred pound animals are high is two dollars and eighteen cents a pound and a low or and the average is about one dollar ninety nine cents a pound which that's pretty decent um I've had this question quite a few times what's the difference between or between steers and heifers well steers are of course born bull calves and are castrated which if anybody has that question leave it in the comments please um, but if it's just a couple of my friends that are wondering, just get in contact with me somehow. And and of course heifers are female cows that are about to turn into calves or cows as soon as they start calving. So um, and steers are. Steers are the more expensive ones, or they bring in more money. Why, I have no idea. Probably because it's to fatten them up a little bit. And I think that's all I had to say about that. All right, next topic is, is the BC Livestock Association closed, or is it... Or is it still open because of COVID? Well, all you ranchers out there will be uh, probably know this already, but I'll say it anyway. BC Livestock Association is still going strong. And in fact, I'm even thinking about getting into that industry myself, just for now. But um, the, does anybody want to take a guess why it's still open? please leave your answers in the comments and I'll even put the questions in the in the description too um and um because this that clip was just short I'll move right into my next and final point is cowboying how important cowboying is to everybody whether it's whether it's the whether you're just watching thank you guys or whether it's buying cows slaughterhouses like that's uh, the butcher and the things um, feed lots anything like that you guys it's so important in the food industry to to know where our food comes from and that's why I am proud to be a to be a farmer or 
small rancher, I guess, from small town of Balakula. And I think that's it, you guys. All right. Um, if you guys had any other questions for me, leave them in the comments, and I'll try and get back to you as quickly as I can. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Have a good one. All right, just a little end point here, you guys. Um, I'd like to give a huge shout out to all the people, be that directors, managers, au auctioneers, everyone, and even us farmers and ranchers. Keep on doing what you're doing, you guys. And we have to all stick together through this, through this COVID thing, whether we come from rancher or or farmer backgrounds or not, or whether we're just interested in food, or even whether we're, or even if we don't really give a rat's <laughs> rear end, <laughs> if, if we get meat or not. It's not just about the meat, it's about supplying the whole world with food. And that's why I'm proud to be a part of that community. Thank you guys so much. Everybody, thank you so much for your help in this whole thing. Give your ranch, if you have next door neighbors that are ranchers and you wanna work, give them a call. See what they're up to. See if they need help, anything. Just get your hands in the, in the industry for even a day. It'll open your mind, I can guarantee you that.